Hello, welcome to the Teaching Public Library. Today I'm going to show you how to digitize your records and cassettes. Whether you're converting a tape or a record, the process is pretty much the same. There are multiple ways to do this, and I'm going to share one way using the equipment available at the library. Um, before you start, you may want to just check to see if it's already available online. People have already done the work for you, so it may save you some time. Um, before anything, just to check, check to make sure your equipment does work um, and that you have the right uh, cable to connect your device to your computer. Um, some newer devices have a USB already installed. You may need an auxiliary jack um, or a USB-C um, adapter, just depending on what computer you're using. Um, these are different devices that are available, um, which may be in your home home already. Um, so yes, again, just check it out, see what kind of device you have and what you need to connect. Um, looking at different types of records, there's 33, 45, 78. They come in sizes 7 inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch. inch and um, some older 45s may need a, an adapter um, because they have a larger center hole. Um, so now that we've gone through basic equipment, um, connect your device to your computer. Um, these can be done you know, two ways, as I said, using the equipment available here at the library or what you have at home. I'm going to show you what we have at the library using this USB cassette converter. Uh, here's a video. Um, this is the USB cassette converter. Um, it is powered by USB on the computer end and mini USB on the device end. So you're just going to put it in and plug it into the computer. It should pop up um, once it's installed on your computer and then you know it's ready to use. Um, you're going to open it up and load in your cassette. with the tape side facing up and just rewind it to the beginning so you know you're starting at the beginning of the tape. Next, I'm going to be using the record player that is available through the library of things. You can check this out and take it home. Um, it's a Victrola uh, suitcase Bluetooth record player. And it is pretty simple to use. Um, it has an AC power adapter, so you just turn it on. Um, you're going to want to unlock the needle. And I'm going to put on a record. Uh, this is a 7 inch. Um, with the standard size center hole, which will go on without using the adapter. So you just place it on the turntable, lift up the needle, and put it on the edge. And that's it. I'm going to show you a 45 or 7 inch with the larger center hole. Um, this record player does have a 45 adapter installed, but we will also have um, 45 adapters printed made on our 3D printer that you can come in and pick up. If you want to end the record, I'm just going to lift up that little latch on the right, which will lift the needle from the record and you can push it over back to uh, its stand. Uh, the 45 adapter is installed on the, the bed of this turntable, so you just put it around the center, then pop the record on around that, and now we'll play without uh, moving around. So this is the, the hardware side. Um, you're going to need to install Audacity uh, recording software to your computer, and we're about to go into how to then get it from the record of the tape to your computer. Um, on the record player, you're going to take the audio conversion cable, the digitizer, and put it into the headphone jack, and then plug it into the computer. Uh, 
Um, and this record player um, does also play the full 12 inch size. I'm going to show you how that looks. Um, the 12 inches don't need uh, the 45 adapter. They have the smaller center hole. And it plays the same way. I'm going to turn the power on and lift the latch, the needle over. So once you've installed Audacity to your computer, um, it's pretty simple and straightforward to use. Um, you're going to open Audacity and locate the microphone icon. Um, so this is what it looks like when you first open it. And there is the microphone icon. So you're going to select the device. Um, so like I said, you'll see it pop up when you install it on your computer. Um, this is the... It's going to gauge the sound, so um, you can use that um, lever to um, adjust the level that it's recording to the computer. Um, we're going to do a little test, and so you're going to hit play on the cassette player and you can see it just started and it's very loud. So the red um, means it's too loud. So, and the song hasn't even started yet. So you're gonna wanna pull it down um, and the song is now starting to play. So you see it pick up um, in the software. So if you, you can just play with the levels and make sure it's um, not sounding too crazy. Um, then you can stop it and restart it so you know it's all on the same level. And as it records, it's going to um, get pretty long, depending on how long your tape is. So you can use the little zoom, uh, which is the microphone icon, to bring it in, you know, make it more visible so you can see more of the track that's recording. Um, that will help when you start editing these files as well. Uh, I just want to show you what it looks like, too, when the tape is played. This is most of the first side of that tape and the little spaces in between indicate the song ending and a new one starting. So when you start to edit the files, um, you're going to use that to, um, as your gauge to pull the file. Um, so like I said, you're going to record the tape in one large file and then edit it down from there or the record, same thing. Um, like I said, you can use those little gaps between um, those blocks of sound to um, pull the song and yeah, we're just going to adjust the what we see the visibility depends on your computer and what you like you're going to use the selection tool and select that first block of sound you're going to use the cut you know that scissor icon to pull it from that track and then we're just going to make a new file and then paste it and now we have a single file for that one song so you can edit the ends you know the beginning and end if you want um, you know and touch up some of that you know little white noise in the beginning uh, we're going to export as mp3 and save it to our computer. And now you have an MP3 that you can play back. Um, you can put it on a computer, you know, music player or in Apple Music and 
listen to that. Um, you can fill out all this information as much as you want. Um, just click OK, it'll export, and then you have your usable file. Uh, if you're concerned about copyright, you can check out the Internet Archives right page to see if your digitized content falls under fair or non-commercial use. But if you're using it for yourself, own personal use, um, you should have anything to worry about. As I said, many of these items are available in our library of things. You can stop in and check them out and bring them home. Or stop into the studio and ask any questions. Uh, my name is Andrew. I'm in the teen department. Um, next week, we'll be making a digital mixtape. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let us know what you think, or if you have any better ways to do this, or you want to do any more file, you know, videos or programs like this. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.